early Greek Asylum Old Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to quickly shade this mirror surface, covering uh, roughness smudge maps and just kind of how to break up the shading, give it more of a realistic look. So a simple cube here that represents the mirrored surface and the scene is being lit by uh, an area light set to quad shape. So, I mean, basically a mirror is a sheet of glass with a, a highly reflective thin coating on the back. So let's start off by creating a, a glass shader. So a standard surface to begin with. If we go to the AI standard surface, there's a glass preset in the preset menu. Otherwise, um, we can just create it manually. Under transmission, set the transmission weight to one and just reduce the roughness, specular roughness for now. Let's just assign that to the cube, rename that to glass. We'll give that a subtle green tint to the glass. Just increase the depth slightly. One. So if we look at the side of the glass, you can notice it's very black because we don't have anything to reflect or refract in the scene. Um, it's very black at the moment. If we go to the render settings and under the ray depth, I notice the specular ray depth is one by default. Just increase that value to something like three or four. You should start to notice the, um, start to see the transmission color more clearly in the glass. I'll put that back to a one. It's a lot darker. So it just adds a little bit more believability to the, to the rendering and sh shading rendering. Now we've done the glass, it's create a shader for the highly reflective thin coating on the back surface. So you need to select the back back face and sign another standard surface to that. Call that mirror. And there is a cream chrome shader here, but I'm just going to increase the metalness and decrease the roughness to zero. So if we go back now, we can see that the back plane of the cube is now reflecting the, the light. So it's looking all very clean at the moment. It doesn't look very realistic. We need to dirty it up a bit and uh, add some uh, dirt maps and so on. So I'm going to select the glass shader. And under roughness, I'm going to create a range shader first. It'll give us a bit more control of the, the, the dirt map. Our color to specular roughness. And then to the range shader, the input, the range shader, just connect an AI image shader. And then you can open up a dirt map. I've got one here that I've downloaded. There are plenty of dirt maps on the internet you can download. Um, I'll put a link to a free pack here that uh, I found. Otherwise, if you just Google dirt roughness map packs, there's plenty here you, you can uh, purchase for a small fee. Okay, so already it's starting to look more realistic. If we change the rain shader values, we can reduce the effect, we exaggerate it, increasing the upper max. But, uh, I'm quite happy with it as, as it is. We can also add a bump map to the glass because at the moment it's a very flat surface. Just adding a subtle amount of bump can add a bit more believability. So under geometry bump mapping, we'll, um, we'll connect a, an Arnold bump 2D. So AI bump 2D, click the out value to the normal camera of the standard surface, glass standard surface shader. And then to the bump map, we can connect uh, an AI noise shader. So our color R to the bump map. Just increase number of octaves, something like four. Increase the bump height, it should give us a subtle bump effect on the surface, you know, it might not be obvious, you might have to exaggerate it to see it's just bumping the, the reflection of the light there. 
So finally we can add some wear and tear to the corners here where the back coating has kind of worn off around the edges. So under geometry opacity, just connect a RAM RGB there. And change the type to circular. Just push the ramp so we can just getting on the corners here. And under the black, just connect a cell noise. And change the pattern to cell 2. And it just increase the amplitude, just zoom in a bit. I can see the opacity effect here. We need to increase the scale. So something like 60. And increase the number of octaves. Just to get a bit of, just to break out the corners here. Okay, so finally you've increased the camera samples to five final image rendering and increase the specular samples to four just to clean up any noise from the specular roughness maps. Also though, I added a couple of images and the image lens effects to give us some bloom on the, the camera there. And uh, an image of white balance just to give it a cooler look. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.